Okay, we're gonna talk a little bit about a myth that is out there saying that if we increase the resistance to airflow, we're gonna increase the amp draw of the blower motor. Right now, we've got this system set up, so we're blowing nothing but blower. We're looking at the amp draw of the blower motor itself. This is our main power to the IFC, which right now, since it's only the blower motor that is running, is the only power that's being consumed. So right now, we're running at about three amps. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close a damper and the rumor has it that if I close that damper, the amp draw will go up, when in fact, the amp draw will go down. So the damper is open right now. And I just closed the damper, and you see the amp draw has dropped. Now, opening the damper. The amp draw is up to where it should be. Closing the damper. The amp draw has dropped. So that just basically dispels the rumor that by decreasing the airflow or increasing the resistance to airflow, that the amperage is gonna increase. It's not. There is no resistance to airflow now. There is more resistance now, so the amp draw has dropped. 